Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Polestar 3. I would like to introduce you to the new Polestar SUV, the first Polestar SUV. This vehicle is finally unveiled to the public, so the public can admire this amazing design of engineering. Now we've got a very entertaining video for you today. We'll be going through the specs of this vehicle, the different color options, the different trim options and pricing of this vehicle. So let's take a step into the Polestar 3. A beautiful SUV, comes in at least six different colors. And the Polestar 3 is the third vehicle from the Swedish Electric Performance brand. And it offers up to 671 pound-feet of torque. With a 107 kilowatts battery pack, Polestar is targeting a range of over 300 miles on an EPA test cycle, or 270 miles with the performance pack. Now this vehicle is capable of up to 610 kilometers of range with a 30 minute charge time if you're using a fast charging system. It's coming with 517 horsepower, 4.7 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers. And we've got some amazing colors. The first color is Thunder. We've also got this car in space. That's a black color. We've got Midnight, which is a dark blue color. We've also got Jupiter, which is a brownish, light kind of golden color. We also have Snow White and we've got Silver Magnesium. Now the infotainment system of this vehicle caught my eye almost immediately. In the UK, this car will be starting at £89,900. Now Polestar is finally joining the lucrative SUV party with the Polestar 3. Manufacturing of this vehicle is starting next year in May 2023 and the delivery date is set for late 2023, Q4 to be specific, probably around October, November time. This amazing SUV by Polestar was revealed today at an event in Copenhagen. Now, of course, as you know, Polestar is the electric performance spin-off initially launched with the One, that's the Polestar One, a hybrid sports vehicle. And that was followed by the Polestar Two, a raised liftback that competes with Tesla model that are popular such as the Tesla Model 3. Now the Polestar 3 takes the Swedish automaker into higher riding territory. Now the claimed top speed is 130 miles per hour. This car is coming with a dual motor setup, means that standard all wheel drive. And Polestar says that the system has a rear bias dual clutch. That's torque vectoring for the rear motor that should live up to the handling. Now Polestar is already showing off the 3's sleek design. Now this car can seat five passengers and a lot of people weren't too happy about this. I believe a lot of people were expecting this car or at least hoping that this car would be able to seat seven passengers, quite similar to the Tesla Model X. However, ladies and gents, keep in mind that this car is a direct competitor to the Porsche Macan and Porsche Cayenne. And I believe those vehicles, they seat at least five passengers, not seven. While it seems absolutely standard for this vehicle to come with seven seats, Unfortunately, it's not really competing in that higher market. Vehicles that typically come with seven seats are extremely big SUVs, even bigger than the Polestar 3, such as Land Rovers, Range Rovers, the Volvo XC90, now the EX90, such as the Tesla Model X. Those are vehicles that will come with seven seats. Keep in mind, Polestar is aiming at a different market. So it's not fair on Polestar to judge them on a basis which they were not contempting with in the first place. Polestar has always been honest about what the Polestar 3 was meant to be. It's a luxurious premium SUV. And it's a performance SUV to keep that in mind as well. It's a sports premium SUV. This car is fitted to feel luxury. This car isn't fitted to feel like a utility vehicle that can be used off-road. Not necessarily like a Land Rover. Unfortunately not. Now this vehicle has been teased for a very long time, over five months now. And today we got to see the fact that Polestar finally pulled back the curtains on the third ever vehicle by Polestar, and it's an SUV. Now thankfully this car is coming with a host of features, starting with all wheel drive, effective power control, regardless of road surface or weather conditions. Polestar 3 Advanced Electronics all wheel drive system constantly adapts to the car's surrounding. This is followed up by the True Torque Vectoring. Polestar 3 Computer Control Torque Vectoring System constantly monitors the wheel spin and actively redistributes power to the wheel with more grip. This results in a faster acceleration, higher cornering speeds, and better traction on slippery surfaces. 
Next up, we've got the active air suspension, leveling at a whole new level, replacing traditional dampers and springs. The dual chamber active air suspension provides elevated handling and comfort by continuously adapting to sensor and driver input. The system also lowers the aerodynamic drag by reducing the ride height at speed and it allows the driver to choose different suspension modes using the central display. So this is one of those fantastic features by Polestar of course that they're introducing and I'm happy to see it in the Polestar car. Seriously, this is wonderful. This is Polestar air suspension technology. And of course, I welcome this. Next up, we've got the performance mode. Polestar 3 has a performance mode that adjusts the motor and true torque vectoring management to deliver maximum power and accelerating all at once. Switching it off will optimize the powertrain for energy efficiency, also enabling more frequent disengagement of the rear motor to extend range. Very, very interesting, I must say. This vehicle is coming with a host of new innovations and in design and possibilities, and I'm happy to see it from Polestar. Now, of course, this car does have Google Play Store built in, so you've got some applications that can be downloaded within the car. Polestar partners with Google to create an intuitive, contextualized infotainment system powered by Android Autonomous, powered by Android Automotive OS, one which connects the car, the user, and their entire digital ecosystem. There's also over-the-air update, so Polestar 3 comes with a truly future-proof software system. It received the regular over-the-air updates to keep it operating system nice and smooth. Apps and car system as cutting edge as when they were first released. Polestar 3 will notify the driver when an update is ready to be installed, so it can be planned while the car is being charged overnight. Something else as well that I thought I might add, 5G in the Polestar vehicle. Polestar 3 provides secure 5G internet to give access to web, real-time traffic updates and dedicated in-car versions of popular apps. Although the connection is already active, there's no need to economize on data as the first three years of use are included in the car's purchase price. Ah, that's wonderful by Polestar. Very, very wonderful. Obviously, this is a look at the central display. It's really nice and simplistic. Next up is our driver's display. Yes, we do have a driver's display. No clutter, no overload. The nine inch driver display has pre-configured modes that provides the necessary information and nothing else. It can be set to show speed, battery status, navigation, or driver assistant information. And look at that, it can also show you your map. So this is actually quite nice. Look at that, it can switch between modes and show you a vast amount of information. It's just what you need it to be. Necessary, there, available, but not too much or not too little. There's also a heads up display, really good addition to the car. And of course for an 80 grand car, it absolutely needs this. This car will also have driver profiles. So if you're sharing the car with multiple people, perhaps your wife or your husband, you'll be able to have different setups in the car. So the car adjusts, so the car will adjust to whoever is driving the car at the time. Very, very nice by Polestar. How about safety within the Polestar 3? Hardwares and sensors, 12 ultrasonic sensors, five radar, five cameras, substantial onboard computing power converts sensor data into preventing warning and intervenes when needs. There's also interior radars and cameras. Advanced cameras and radar sensors in the Polestar 3 monitors drivers and occupants. There are two inferred eye tracking cameras in the dashboard, as well as four 60 gigahertz motion detector radars. The radar system is the first of its kind to cover the entire interior of the car, including the rear luggage area. Very, very interesting stuff by Polestar, including the blind spot information system. If vehicles are passing the Polestar 3, and this is quite common on a lot of cars, not just Polestar, but I saw this for myself when I test drive the Polestar 2, and it was a wonderful addition, thankfully. Forward collision avoidance, avoiding collision with possible pedestrians. Day or night in all condition, Polestar 3 monitors the surrounding environments. An array of sensors and advanced technology enhances road safety by detecting pedestrians, cyclists, and traffic and traffic anomalies at intersections intervening when needed. Lane keeping aid as well. That's very good. I like this feature. There's also 360 and rear view camera. Very, very nice stuff from Polestar. I'm happy. Polestar has so many amazing features coming to this car. 
It's not everything, but it's definitely a step into the right direction from the Polestar company. And I welcome all of these additions. I think they're all brilliant and I'm happy to see them. This was something I was very curious about. The acoustic vehicle alert system. This is a way of letting pedestrian and cyclists know that the Polestar 3 is approaching or reversing. The acoustic vehicle alert system, or AVAS, AVAS, generates unique distinctive sounds that helps the car make itself heard, increasing safety for vulnerable road users. This is very good, so let's take a listen to this feature. Ladies and gents, that is the feature in question. Not what I was expecting, but I do welcome it. This is what the airbags deployed would look like in the car as well. Very, very nice, very, very clean. This is the car with plenty of luggage. Once again, I am impressed. I do like to see this. I love the color of this as well. I believe this might be the thunder color, which is kind of like a dark gray, but it's very, very nice. So Polestar is obviously demonstrating just how useful this car is for utility purposes. And of course it should be, it's a utility vehicle. There's a host of other features coming into this car, but this is something that they did not show on stage. Front storage compartment for the Polestar 3. This is what the front trunk looks like for the Polestar 3. Because the battery and motors are situated underneath the car, 32 liters of additional storage space are available under the bonnet. The front storage department also contains a vehicle towing eyelet, tool kits and charging cables. Very, very nice. I'm curious why they didn't show this on stage. There's also a loading mode where the button inside the rear luggage compartment lowers the back of the car using air suspension to enable smoother loading and unloading for the vehicle. Very, very nice. I love this. There's also performance upgrades that are available for the car as well. Maximum power acceleration at all time, performance software boost the powertrain output to 380 kilowatts, 517 brake horsepower. So the potential for the car to be upgraded over the year is immense. So that's it looking at everything to do with the Polestar 3, ladies and gents. There's plenty more things to go through, but I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in our next video. Leave a like and subscribe.